The organizer is a tool for copying, deleting, and renaming project elements like calendars, reports, tables, and views, as well as making custom views available to other project plans. So to go ahead and open up this organizer, you can do it one of many ways. You can either come up here, and in the back door, there are many back doors, like in the Resource Views group on the View tab, click on Other Views and go to More Views, and there's the organizer. Okay, I'm a little bit congested so it doesn't sound as cool, but click on it and it opens up this window or close out, close out, come up here, click on the file tab and to the info is selected by default, there's the organizer, brings up the same window. So you have all these different elements that you can look at and see if you have it in your main project or if it's available in the default global template, meaning that anytime you create a new project, these are what views are going to be available, reports, modules, tables, and let's see, fields. Remember in an earlier training video we created custom fields? Well, they're available in this project, but not available in all new projects. So if I'm like, every time I create a new project, I want to be able to have the deliverables custom field available, select it, click copy, and any time I create a new project, let's go ahead and close out. Let's see, come down here, click on new, double click on blank project, so when I want to insert a custom field, it was deliverables, text one. Actually, we can just come up here, click on the file tab, and go to organizer, and go to fields, and you can see it's there. Okay, you really want to find out if it's there. It shows that it's here, but it's text one. Click on the file tab to go back to the uh, front stage. Right click on any column header. Go down to insert column. Type in the uh, name, the project name that it has for that uh, custom field. Even though we call it deliverables, the project name is text1, and hey, there it is. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key and close out of the inner X. When you close out of the inner X, it closes out of that uh, file and not the program, which is the outer X. So go to the any and close out and say no. And we're still in the program with the uh, other project file up. So to bring up the organizer, click on the file tab, info to organizer, and there we go with the fields. So that's available in all new projects unless I select it and say uh, no and delete it or I rename it. And we can't do it for custom fields, but we can do it for, let's see, views, my spiffy tracking view rename, my spiffy tracking view number two, and click OK. So that will be available in all new projects. Now, if you have a project that you want to be able to take something that you created in the current project that you have, but you don't want it available, in the global template for all new projects. What you have to do then is, well, let me close out of here, is you have to open up both projects. So let me come up here and click on the File tab. I got my Spiffy Software Training Manual, and then I want to come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Open, go to my Desktop, and then go to the Exercises folder and open up another project. Whoa. Double click on that. Now you can see down the taskbar for every uh, button that I have, I have a corresponding window or file that's opened. Of course, I cover this in my Windows training video. Buy it. In any case, that was subliminal. When I have both projects open, I come up here and click on the File tab and go down to Organizer. By default, whichever project that I'm working on, it's pulling it up here. You can see the views available are in another project. But don't I also have the Spiffy Software Training Project open as well? I do. Just click on the drop-down arrow and you can go to Spiffy. So in one window I have Spiffy and another one I have the uh, global template. But I can say, look, I don't want to copy what I have available in the Spiffy program to make it available to everybody when they create a new project or any new projects that I create. I just want to copy it over to the another project. Whoa. You see what I'm saying? These views, when you click on the drop-down arrow, will only show those projects that you have open along with the uh, default template. So if you don't have another project open, then you can't be able to, you know, select it and then swap recipes back and forth, as it were, or views, or reports, things like that. So in the views for my Spiffy Software Training Manual, we created our single view, then our combo view that I want available in an earlier project or another project will. So select it and copy it over, and it's available in that project. So, you know, there may come a time where 20 projects later, you go, hey, this is a cool view, and you say this is going to be available. Let me change it in all new projects and copy it over if it's not already there. But then you're like, wait a second, I have 20 projects that don't have that view. Well, go ahead and open them up and then just copy them over after you change the view to the uh, correct project to be able to copy it over, okay? 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.